beautiful people so this video today that I'm doing is basically going to be how I construct my um, chip bags before I actually print them out and assemble them um, like I did in my last video so this video is just gonna quickly take you through um, how I put it together my son his birthday is not until July um, but we do like to plan ahead so I thought I'd just make this really quickly um, to show you we decided on a beach party for him this year and he couldn't decide theme wise what um, superhero he wanted he just kept saying he wanted all of them so I decided why not just do like a um, Marvel versus DC beach party so that's what um, this chip bag is going to be just quickly how to put it together how I put the images on there the backgrounds the chip bag template and so on um, so here we go um, as I walk you through that process Okay, so now I have a new document and I'm going to go ahead to my clip art and I'm going to add my background. Okay, so now that I have that here, I'm going to click on it and go to format. And I'm going to go to size. I'm going to take the lock off of it because um, this will allow me to change the size. Now just keep in mind, it can stay this small. If you want to make something like a chip, I mean a fruit snack bag or something like that, it can stay this small. It, you don't have to do 8x10 or um, 8x11, whatever the case is. You can do larger or you can do smaller. Um, so I'm just going to change the size of this to 8.5. And then I'm going to change this size to 10. Okay, and then I'm also going to change my page layout here to landscape and I'm going to change my margins to narrow. Okay, so now I have my chip bag there how I want it and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go through and add all the images that I want for my chip bag. I'm going to add them onto the document so so I'm gonna add my thingy and then I'm going to click on it I'm gonna go to format again I'm gonna wrap text okay and then I'm gonna make it smaller Now that I have the images that I want, I want to remove this white background that I have on there. So what I'm going to go to is recolor and I'm going to click transparent and then I'm going to just click on the background. Okay. Also, I'm going to do the same thing for this recolor, set transparent, click. Okay. So that removes the white backing off of it. But you see how it kind of looks, so you see how it kind of makes the eyes look creepy. I'm going to insert. I'm gonna add a shape. I'm gonna choose a circle and I'm gonna add it there, okay? So it's blue right now. I'm gonna change it to white. 
And I'm going to change the outline to white. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is make it fit this circle. Okay. Now I'm going to click on the image behind and I'm going to order bring to the front, okay? So now I have my DC the way that it should look. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for this so that the eyes don't look creepy. I'm going to insert shape at a circle. I'm going to change it to white and then change the shape outline to white. Okay, and I'm going to make this big. Okay. Now I'm clicking on my big picture behind. I'm going to order, bring to the front. There we go. So now the eyes don't look super creepy anymore. Okay. So now that I have all the images that I want on there, I'm going to go ahead and insert my word art. So... Okay, so I'm going to delete that and I'm going to do happy and then you can also text fill with other stuff like um, cha you can change it You can have it glow like that, um, you know. So I'll, I'll keep that like that. Um, okay, and then I'm gonna add word art again. Insert word art. birthday sorry I'm doing this with one hand another reason why I'm not doing it all together is because it leaves a lot of space between um, each word which I can probably change let me see if I can change that. You see how it does... It does that where I, you know, it leaves so much space between, but you might be able to... Yeah, I think... No, see. It doesn't really work. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So I just do it individually because it it just makes it harder for me. So I just do them individually instead of doing them together. Again, you guys might have some tips for me. Okay. And I'm also going to put his name. I-E-R-C-T. -E 
Okay, and then I'm gonna get down here. So I have my happy birthday pierced there, and now I'm going to put my last thing on there, and that was who's Sorry, I think my finger was in the way. Okay. So I have everything there that I want to be there. And now I'm going to go ahead and add my chip bag template. And then, I'm, and then I will resize everything. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and add my template for the chip bag. And then I will click on it, format it, wrap text, and then, okay. Oops. Okay, so now I have it there. And then I'm going to just adjust all this stuff so that it lines up correctly within the lines. So now that you have all your images and your fonts onto your chip bag, you can go ahead and Make sure everything is in the right place. If you need to resize anything, make it smaller or bigger or uh, whatever the case is, you can do so um, now. Because our next step uh, in this process will be printing out the chip bag. So I'm just going to make this circle a tiny bit smaller so it doesn't show up. Okay, I don't care if it shows up a little bit back there, but I just didn't want it to look obvious. Now that you have everything in the proper place, you can go ahead and put your chip bag PNG um, over the whole image and you don't have to move it around much or anything. I'm just gonna make this a tiny bit bigger um, to cover the border. And make this a tiny bit smaller as well just so the you'll see the wave effect at the bottom of the chip bag that was a tiny bit too big okay and now I'm gonna order this to the front everything seems to be good to go um, I'm going to bring this down a tiny bit at the bottom. Okay. So there's my completed chip bag. Um, pretty much how I'm going to print this. And so now so I went ahead and printed one that was the size of a fruit snack bag, just so that you know, you can print these for, you know, larger bags or for smaller. You don't have to stick to the chip size bag. So that's basically how it came out. And I think I might switch this around. Um, whose side are you on on this side and then marble versus GC on this side um, so so yeah but this this is basically how it came out I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you on the next one